Have you ever wanted to control autonomously an indoor quadcopter, such as the one you've just seen, but were put off by the cost and complexity of motion capture systems? I'm the lead developer of the Otis Tracker, an ultra-low latency, some millimeter accuracy motion capture system that has been developed specifically for UAV and robot designers. I'm going to show you how the Otis Tracker works, as well as how you can use it to control this quadcopter. First, let's have a look at the tracker itself. It is extremely light and it can be installed on most quadcopters and robots. The system works with two base stations. The base stations are emitting infrared light that is picked up by 27 carefully placed sensors on the tracker. The sensor information, combined with the accelerometer and gyroscope reading, is then streamed wirelessly to the computer 250 times per second. The computer will calculate the position and orientation of the tracker. Up to 14 trackers can be tracked at the same time in the same room. There's also absolutely no calibration required. This is ideal if you're planning to travel or if you're going to use the tracking system in multiple labs. Now let's have a look at the software. The RC Benchmark Tracking Lab can record the pause information, but most of the time you will want to use the position and orientation to control your drone with your own code. At launch, we had plugins for C++, C, C Sharp, Rust, Python, MATLAB, and LabVIEW. The code for the quadcopter demonstration you saw at the beginning is included with the plugins. It is an example of a simple PID controller used to follow a path. Accurate measurement of position and orientation is extremely important in robotics. If you have a cool project and have some questions about how you could use the tracker, please don't hesitate to comment below or send us an email. We'll also have an in-depth explanation of how this quadcopter is controlled, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified. Thanks and bye-bye.